Hello, Nick here from Technovo and welcome back to the channel. Just over three years ago, I checked out the original M4U8 headphones from PSB. They've now released a new and improved, I think, Mark II version. I've been using them and here are my thoughts. If you've got the original and are wondering what's the difference, let's run through that first. Well, they say they've got improved battery life, which is now circa 18 hours with ANC on, 25 hours with it off. They've tweaked and improved the noise cancelling technology inside. It's an all new digital adaptive arrangement. That sounds good, but probably the biggest change, personal sound. There is now an app you can download, pair it with your headphones and then run some calibration and you'll get a personal listening experience. Out of the box, the headphones look identical to the originals. Matte black with hints of glossy black and chrome. Some nice stitch into the top of the headband with thick leverette ear cups and headband. The headband is adjustable. There is a good amount of flex as well, but only a little bit of give on the ear cups themselves. All the buttons are located on the right ear cup, a slider for power on, off, and A and C on, plus two rocker switches, one for volume, which also acts as the button for turning on ambient or monitor mode, plus a slider for track control. There is also a Bluetooth button, USB-C port for charging and also 3.5mm jack ports to both ear cups for a wired connection. The headphones fold in on themselves making it easy for them to be stored and moved around in the provided hard case. You also get all the accessories you might need, aux cable, USB cable, one quarter inch adapter and an airplane adapter too which I haven't seen in a very very long time. Probably the best new feature is the addition of the app. There is a PSB headphone app available for iOS and Android. PSB have teamed up with AudioDo to bring a custom audio experience to the user and I really like it. Connect the headphones and your smart device together, open the app, it will confirm it's found the headphones and then you need to run the calibration. It takes about 60 seconds, you'll hear a number of different beeps in your left ear and then your right ear. If you hear the beep, you press yes. If you don't hear it, you press no. Once that's done, the app will create a personal sound profile for you, tweaking the EQ to suit your level of hearing. And I have to say, it made a noticeable difference. Within the app, you can quickly enable or disable personal sound with an instantaneous response and switching between the two is a big difference and it elevated the sound dramatically. Now this will differ for each person. I get the impression my hearing is better in my left ear than my right, but with this profile, it upped the highs a little bit, the mids a lot and lowered the bass. It's really improved the experience and I'm quite surprised at how much difference this has made. Other than that, there isn't much else to do with the app. You can recalibrate and create other profiles if you share the headphones with other people. You can also push out firmer updates, which is great for future proofing. You cannot, however, manually edit the sound profile or create an EQ. So your one profile is all you can have. Audio performance has been fantastic. It's been a real joy to use these headphones while working, walking the dog. The app is a must. The custom profile has made such a difference and I would only ever use these with the profile on. For me, the profile EQ was spot on. It offered a lovely mix with whatever I was listening to, be it pop punk or country, it sounded great. ANC is included and there is also a nice level of passive cancellation as well thanks to the foam ear cups. It's a noticeable difference when turning the ANC on. It's the type where you notice that slight buzz when you turn it on but only if you've got no content playing of course. Without playing music ANC will remove any sounds in the office, background PCs, people chatting but also does a good job of louder sounds too, like a lorry driving past when you're out and about. As for comfort, I found them fairly comfortable. I would wear them for maybe a couple of hours each stint without issue. If anything, I would have liked a bit more pad into the headband. That's the least comfortable part. These also sit well on my head with a tight enough fit that these probably would be okay for joggers. Lastly, the microphone sounds good, more than enough for taking calls or even if you wanted to use them for a Zoom call, Bit of an overkill sound wise, but if you've got them, why not? Okay, so as you can see, I've got the headphones on, they're connected to my phone and I am testing out the inbuilt microphone and I think they sound pretty good, more than enough for a phone call or a video call if you needed to. Battery life was good, I charged them at least twice and I'd say 15 odd hours with ANC on is more than achievable. The controls work fine, easy to use with your right hand, but if you're not careful, you could go from ANC on to headphones off, missing the middle option of ANC off, but headphones still on if you push too hard, which I did do a couple of times. So there we have it, they were the PSB M4U8 Mark II headphones and I really enjoyed them. It was some three years ago now that I tried the originals and I don't have them anymore to compare them to, but these have to be better. The personal sound profile is a great addition. Retail price 
is 299 here in the UK. So they're not cheap, but I think they more than perform and keep up with similar price headphones on the market right now. That is a wrap on this video. If you have stuck around until the end, then thank you very much. And if you want to see more videos from us in the future, hit that subscribe button and all our future videos will pop up in your feed.